This brings us to the question: When it comes to IT services, what exactly is value? Also, to keep in mind, value of something intangible, such as service, is hard to quantify. Value is defined not only strictly in terms of the customer's business outcomes; it is also highly dependent on customers' perceptions. There are two key elements which combine to provide value to services. Utility, or what the customer gets, and warranty, or how it is delivered. Utility is perceived by the customer from the attributes of the service that have a positive effect on the performance of tasks associated with desired outcomes. Removal or relaxation of constraints on performance is also perceived as a positive effect. It means if we are able to support the performance of customer services, or remove the challenges at the customer end, the service utility is on the higher side. The customer would treat the service utility as high, as the service is meeting the customer needs, meaning it is fit for purpose. In short, it is the service's fitness for purpose which defines the utility of a service. So, if you want to use email as a service, the ability of the service to allow you to send and receive email is utility. Warranty is derived from the positive effect of being available when needed, in sufficient capacity or magnitude, and dependable in terms of continuity and security. It is the service's fitness for use. So, if the email service is available twenty-four-seven. It's secure enough that nobody hacks into your account, and so on, is warranty. Utility and warranty go hand in hand. Customers cannot benefit from a service that is fit for purpose, but not fit for use, and vice versa. We may have services with high utility and low warranty, or services with low utility and high warranty, depending on the customer needs. But there cannot be services with either just utility or just warranty.